Hi guys, what is going on? Welcome to today's uh, mini podcast where I am going to talk about Uber Eats delivery improvement. Before I actually get into the topic, I want to show everyone uh, this beautiful girl who delivered to my lunch yesterday. So I was very impressed that um, actually she is beautiful. I posted to share on the Facebook, face, Facebook group as well. Um, and the reason I want to share with everyone because of the example that she put for why I deliver. It says a single mom renting home outside by herself, hoping to make extra money for my kids, food and clothes. And then there's two a uh, crying face so that works pretty well especially for me i was like whoa she's so beautiful so cute and then she's hard working i mean you can see she's a diamond and she's got 7698 delivery done so i was like whoa that's impressive so I actually gave her some uh, cash tips and in the app, I also tip her like a good 20%. So that's just an example of how you can improve your why statement so that uh, when your eater looking at it, uh, they will automatically give you some extra tips. I mean, if they are an asshole who's giving you just $3, you are not going to influence them. But according to statistics, you can influence about 10 to 20% of the people. So for doing nothing, just putting the why statement and you get extra money, that's a job well done. So you gotta create your own why statement that's convincing and letting people willing to put that extra money I mean, there are good people who want to help you. So you want to invite those good 20% people to give you extra tips. So today the topic is Uber Eats delivery improvement. Uh, for a long time, I was using this very shitty and crappy phone. Uh, this was like $150 Canadian and uh, uh, it's just very cheap and Uber app doesn't require a lot of uh, demand on, on a new phone. So a crappy phone would do it. However, I have to charge this all the time. Every time before my shift doing delivery, I have to charge it to full. And after about one to two hours, the battery will be low. And often I didn't focus. I didn't charge to fall or forgot to charge then um, I would need a power bank some cable or I have to cut my shift short um, so that um, I don't make as much money so I decided to uh, buy a new one this one and it's uh, only like $200 on Amazon it's also a cheap phone but unlike my old one uh, this one has a massive battery. Let me show everyone. This one, the battery size is like 6,150. I mean, one of my power bank, the battery size is a 5,000. This, this thing is bigger than my uh, small power bank. So I've been testing it, using it, and I'm very surprised how good it is. Uh, I mean, uh, even with delivery, uh, I can go on for two days without charging. So this is good uh, knowing that you can just keep going and don't have to worry about battery for days. And for regular usage, like three day, four day, no problem. But if you're doing delivery uh, from full charge, it's about two days. So I was very surprised uh, with the phone durability with small bit of, of improvement uh, you can get a very good score for your Uber Eats 
delivery business. Now, uh, I put into three category, the thermal bag category. You can see, even when you don't have thermal bag, you can still do quite a bit of delivery. But of course, if you improve your thermal bag to one star, two star, ideally you want to have a two uh, to, to put extra order in and it look professional, keep temperature warm, and it's part of the service. So you can see the thermal bag quickly reach its maximum uh, ratio. So improving on thermal bag, it helps a little bit, but doesn't help a lot. But with a cell phone, you don't want to have a phone that with too little capability. And with a little bit of money, just $200 of phone, you get to the two star phone. It's almost as good as a thousand dollar phone. So phone improvement uh, can bring a lot of advantage to your business. And let's look at the scooter capability. If you get a cheap scooter, somewhere around like $500 with 30 kilometer range, uh, you have to be going home after five delivery, four delivery. So it's kind of not very efficient. If you don't have any scooter, if you're just walking, it's going to be very difficult with your delivery. So if you got something like a Segway, uh, with 60 kilometer delivery range, you can do about 10 delivery. So it's somewhere like a two star uh, system. And if you have something more high power around 100 kilometer, uh, then you can get to the three star, but the improvements a little bit, but you have to pay a lot more money. Now, if you have a car or even have even a hybrid or electric car, because you have to deal with a lot of insurance and potential of getting police ticket, maintenance, repair. So the advantage isn't that much. Also, the money is a lot to recoup. If you have something like a Segway Max, because it's only a $900, your money is only a $1,000. The money you put in can easily come back within two weeks, three weeks period of putting the time into it and there's you don't have to worry about insurance you don't have to worry about tickets you don't have to worry parking so in some way it's a lot more effective than having a car which allow you to do a longer range theory and in my opinion it's better for instacart not uber eats so two star is the sweet spot you want to have a phone with good capability, long battery. You don't need much CPU power, but um, you do need that the battery size so that you can go on for long. Kind of like Segway Max, you can go 65 kilometer range. It's the perfect for Uber Eats. And thermal bag, you don't want to have zero. You don't want to have just one. You want to have two so that you can arrange uh, a lot of time is second order and sometimes second order is $10, $15. You got to take that. So you want to have that capacity. So a two star is the ideal. When you get to three star, four star, five star, although you have very nice equipment, very good capability, but because you're putting so much money into it, it will take a long time to recoup. Um, if you already have those you know nice fancy electronic uh or car uh that's a bonus otherwise it's not good improvement to do so if you really want to enhance your uber eat uh, uh task business your own business so get to the two star as soon as possible once your account is approved you start doing delivery you want to uh get a fairly good phone, a very good scooter delivery system, and good enough uh, thermal bag for you to handle two order at the same time. So, um, this is a very quick uh, talk on the Uber E delivery improvement. So, uh, it's a good uh, topic. Uh, I've been thinking about this for weeks. 
and finally are able to put it all together put it into chart and uh, figure out the most cost effective strategy to get most money out of every hour and to become a more effective uh, uber e delivery person and also by doing so you have more time for yourself for your family and you become more productive whenever you are doing the delivery and another aspect of thermal bag quality is the adding the rgb light especially if you're doing the delivery in the evening uh, it will give you some extra safety also it looks cool it motivates you to do it um so that's it uh, for this episode please like this video thumb up and i will chat with you guys next time bye for now